Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 15 of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as the King of the Stepstones, the Pirate King. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we managed to uh, restore our kingdom yet again uh, from the... or after the attack of Phalantis, this bastard, and yeah. Now we, as always, trying to get some more power. I'm waiting, still waiting for my troops to replenish. We actually already have quite a few troops personally, but yeah, we still need a lot of money, first of all, to restore the billions we lost, because I'm really upset about uh, that, and yeah, uh, we need this large pirate then, at least, because it gives a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. So yeah, and also, in the previous episode, uh, the queen of Iron Throne actually decided to declare war on Pentas. And somehow, I'm really surprised, she managed to lose. Won by Magister Joss of the Driftmark. And that's considering that they have like... Oh, we have only 2,000 troops left. How the hell you managed to win this war? I don't know. What are you fighting now? King Mars of Lower First Rank in, in Invasion of Knight's... Wo invasion of Knight's Watch? Oh! That's cool. So, the guys from the behind the wall are actually taking the wall, and Queen uh, answered the call, and now they are defending against it. That's actually looking awesome. It would be interesting to see who's hell gonna win it. And yeah, we are just now navigating through the major rivers and trying to uh, burn down some uh, some easy targets in here. So. Yeah, I've been planning on going further here, in the direction of Kohor. So let's go and do this. Our troops are on their boats, so let's just go further here, on this dark water river, or whatever it's called. And get some more provinces burned down if it's possible. Oh, 4k garrison. Okay, at least not burned down, but maybe... Oh, if uh, we're looking for the white stack again, okay. Yeah, if not burned down, at least, let's try to get as much money from them as we possibly can. I'm probably gonna be upset, as always, and... What is that? Black Goat of Kohor? What kind of religion is that? Black Goat. Despite many attempts by Zoyed Priests to, to bring them to the Lord of Light, the people of Kohor still worship their own gods. They said that the black god is one of the faces of many faced god. <laughs> what the crap is that? Black god. Okay. I guess. It's legit. Are you really gonna attack me with no morale? Mm. Oh. Why all of a sudden. Nice. As I attack you, you have a civil war. So. What do you think? Five. 100 troops with morale against 900 troops without morale. Yeah, now you're rejecting the attack. Because it would be really stupid. Without morale, even with the troops' advantage, you probably... God damn it! Unhappy with my rule, blah blah blah. How could you be unhappy? I'm the best ruler in here. Hey, how much troops we could raise personally? A thousand in here? And... Hmm. It's quite a few, actually. And I... Um, I don't like it. Okay, let's wait. We would need to get these guys back. And try to... Combine them with my uh, personal troops. To fight off this sink. Yeah. Probably not gonna have enough. Well, gather your followers, blah blah blah. He's not gonna... Uh, go away, of course. And my daughter needs an educator. Any of my vassals wants to do this? Ah, I would I'd gladly accept. So, Kohor actually have quite a lot of gold itself. We're probably gonna come back home with a nice nice pile of, go uh, pile of gold in our ship. My own failure or not my own failure? I guess we're gonna accept that it's our failure. Okay. Why are you not fighting with your rebellion and instead 
You're trying to fight me. That's not fair. Okay, let's go and uh, check where the hell you're gonna go next. Maybe we're gonna be able to like suck some more, some more places before before leaving. Okay, as soon as you're gonna go to Sun Grove, I'm just gonna land into this place, Cuchon, and try to take some money from here. Go away. 28th of, uh, of October. Why is it taking you so much time? Oh, we're having 10% war score in here. How have you lost like 700 troops? When the hell you uh, managed to do this? Probably the army of Bloodstone just got raised to fight you. That's actually useful. Okay, you guys go to Cojon. We're gonna go to speed 4 as well, because it's taking us a little bit too much time. Okay, are you coming back for me? Probably yes. Or no. Aegon Targaryen invades. A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros, claiming to be Aegon the Sixth, trueborn son of Rhaegar Targaryen and rightful king of Seven Kingdoms. Interesting. This was not happening in the TV series. It is widely believed that he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegan during the War of the Usurper along with his sister Rhaenerys. Oh, the ones who were, uh, like, killed, but looks like he wasn't killed, and Mother Elia of Dorne. It is proposed that it was not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant baby who was put in Aegon's place. Okay. Long live through King, Aedat is dead, his doesn't matter. Uh, like, long live the king, I guess. I don't care. I am my own king. Okay, this guy's not going for me. So it's a chance for us to take some more money from you. Oh, and now that you got rid of your levies in here, I could even burn it down if I'm gonna be lucky. And I probably will, because we're still taking money from the top and we are sieging it at the same time. That's interesting. We're probably, like, gonna get double loot. So, maybe you would be willing to take white piece right now? No. Still willing to siege. I don't want to uh, let him s finish the siege, so maybe I should use my personal troops, but I don't want it to. I don't want to do this, because it takes me too much freaking time to replenish them. And wasting them on uh, wasting them on uh, peasants would be a stupid idea. A strange chest made of unknown metal was recovered by man, but yeah, I couldn't open it. Great. So someone in the future I'm gonna be open it I'm gonna be able to open it and like get twenty gold from it. Okay. Our boat is full. Let's go back home. And he just finished the siege, okay. He's losing more and more troops, so it's it's even better for me to uh to wait. Okay, you mm, you guys should be going to the capital, actually. Not to this place. And you siege the trade post. Does not... Doesn't really matters for me, so... This guy's gonna be siege... Uh, stood down, and we're gonna re-race... Hmm. Yeah, we still would need to race our... God damn it! I should not have done this. Uh... Oh! Someone just engaged. Okay. That would be easier then. Looks like uh, the guy of the blood, uh, Bloodstone, or whatever you called, uh, decided to raise his troops when I accidentally raised this one. So, actually managed to win this battle. Oh, and level reinforcement raids. And now you're gonna crush him, right? If so, I would be actually really happy. It would mean that I wouldn't even need to... Yeah, I wouldn't even need to use my personal troops, and that's what I'm trying to achieve. Because they are too damn valuable, uh, valuable, and they are too damn slow to replenish. Uh, your priest Lotha was concerned by a desperate crowd of beggars, and, she, and was seriously wounded. Okay, unfortunate for you. So, are you guys gonna freaking die, or what? Come on. Please. 
You need to finish this stupid rebellion. Uh, Pirate Lord of Sanson has provided me with proof that Pirate Lord has slandered me. Yeah, just stay out of the factions. Actually, don't really have any factions. We only have Lish Loyalists, which is pretty great. Righteous Imprisonment. Uh, no. Not gonna be imprisoned anyone. And 100%. Yeah, the only thing you're gonna receive is 20 prestige. It's like nothing at all for destroying such an army. Okay, so our personal troops are still here, 2500 already. So we're halfway through replenishing our uh, troops and this is great. And we still have not enough to build a large pirate den, but we are only like 15 uh, or 150 gold away. And the capital, or not the capital of the rich, but this province of the rich are actually almost fully replenished. So why don't we go and pillage it again? They have like 100 gold in here and while I'm gonna be marching here, they're gonna get even more. So it's probably gonna be enough for me. Actually, it's not, not quite enough for me to build a pirate den, but still. It looks like one of the most, one of the richest province I managed to find anywhere in this world, and this is great. The especially great thing is that it is an island, so it's a lot harder for them to defend it, and a lot easier for me to pillage it, with no danger. It is getting warmer every day. Okay, it was a pretty short winter. Not even got a, I don't think, uh, a modifier on our capital, which is pretty damn awesome. <laughs> so, oh no, I'm ill, actually, doesn't consort me much, uh, doesn't con consort me as much anymore, actually, why is our son only have poor fighter? I thought he's gonna have a uh, level 2, but no, that's unfortunate, but yeah, we already have our heir, who have 15 marshals, so I think it should be enough for him to uh, inherit, and also, one of the things, uh, the pop-up said that uh, they could have uh, enough prestige to inherit. So to give him some prestige, I could make him a... Uh, or give him an honorary title. So, court musician, monthly prestige point 1, point 3, 3, 3, minus 3. So, food taster. No, it's a little bit dangerous. You're gonna become my Seneschal. Just for some more prestige for you. It's not much, but it's something. And actually, Prince of Se Stepstones itself giving him prestige as well. So, how is this pillage going? Oh, 40 more gold away. And we are not dead. Great. Hopefully. Actually, his son is already four years, so uh, lo the longer we live, the higher chances that our son also go not gonna have any problems with inheritance. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so this thing is done, right? Right, and we still have like 20 more available space on our bots, so let's just go and, I don't know, check maybe some of these uh, coast provinces, like uh, Starfall. Is Dorn... Oh, why is Dorn so shattered? What the hell... What the hell Brimstone is independent? And the Stoneway and all of this stuff. I don't know, but it's even better for me because it's gonna be a little harder for them to defend. Actually, never mind. How the hell you manage to raise these troops with a full morale? You're cheating bastard. Okay, I'm retreating then. I'm gonna find myself some better target. Let's go to the sun house. I hope the rich maybe is like uh, occupied with some other wars. And they're not gonna pay attention to my pillaging. More reports of white stack. Okay. Have nothing else to do in our castle, anyways, while our people pillaging around. Okay, they're raising their troops, but. 
my boots is close to be full. Oh, more liver enforcement rate. That's useful. You know, the bonuses does not stack, but they only last for like one year, so having it uh, pop out as frequently as possible gonna be useful. So six more gold you have in here, and there's the army. 132. Okay, let's go back. But on our way, we're gonna visit the uh, Sun Spear, I guess. This time you will not escape. Of course, you say it every time. Sun Spear, what kind of war are you involved in? Defending against whale. But the whale is so far away. What kind of war could you have with the Dorn? Whaleman war for Lord Luther claim on Midler Point. Where's the Midler Point? Uh, go to home provinces, yeah. Midler Point. In here? Interesting. Dorn, how the hell you have control in here? Such a mess. Also, Nightwatch, how are you doing? 16% in favor of Lord Commander of the Nightwatch. That's surprising. I thought the Nightwatch gonna actually lose badly. But uh, comparing the troops, they have pretty much uh, close armies. Uh, also, this thing is kind of now controlled by the Riverlands. Yes, it's such a mess in the inheritances. But as soon as uh, as soon as the queen gonna finish her war, the kingdom should be united again. So. This thing not gonna be happening. Twenty percent chance of me becoming stressed. You spent weeks. Oh yeah, white stack. Don't make it make me stressed, please. Nice, thanks. Don't wanna die quite yet. Have returned to your court. The hunt for the elusive white beast seems fruitless. Maybe next time you will catch your prey. Yes, I won't give up anytime soon. So sun spear, give me like a couple of ducats. Nice. Our boat is full. And we actually could come back to Sun Spear next time. Because if they're if they're gonna be involved in any kind of war. Also, who the hell are you? Rexton Mutiny. Uh mm, uh 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 huh. What are you doing in my capital? And not declare declaring a war on me. What kind of crap is that? Okay, I'm just gonna come back to another one province. And how much money do we need? Large pirate den, now we have enough. Let's go and build it ASAP. I want to have all of this. Tax income, fort level, light infantry, heavy infantry, all the great stuff. And we could go back and take some more money from some Sun Spear because I definitely saw Oh, whale, well, you're already in here. That's cool. Uh, I already saw them uh, moving their boats and or moving their troops around. So, they're probably not going to be paying much attention to me, like, raping their women and taking their gold goodies. My unwed daughter has been indiscreet. She has been hiding her pregnancy from me and now presents me with her child. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... I have to deal with it quietly, it's a child of my blood, and I will take care of them both. Lose some prestige. Or punish her and give away the child. No. I'm fine. If you're a slut, it's fine. I could, like, handle your baby. Even though I'm a pirate and I'm supposed to be cruel and stuff. Especially <laughs> having the arbitrary trait, but you're my daughter after all, so... Or which one is that? Just one of the youngest ones. You're 18! And you already managed to have a bastard child. Yeah. Your prized lotto was cons... Again? What are you doing wrong? Why the peasants hate you so much? You're supposed to be priest. They should like you. They should give you all their money, but no. Okay. These mutinies are starting to get annoying. But thanks to all of my... Uh... Oh, Rexstone! What are you doing? Peasant Revolt for Bloodstone. Rexton Mutiny. Oh, Rexton Mutiny is this shit. So, 
instead of standing on their uh, war goal, they decided to get to move to my capital for no reason at all. But now this guy using his army gonna fight my mutiny. And they're not fighting each other. Okay. I have no idea what sh what's happening here, but at least you're immediately starting to get second war score for holding our province. So that's fine with me. And actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys. So, looks like our pirate then are gonna finish in the next episode. And actually, it's been built really damn quickly. Oh! Oh, oh, uh, I'll, uh, never mind. One, why is it one day only? Improved castle, one day. How is it possible? I don't know, but yeah. This thing gonna finish in the next, gonna get finished in the next episode, and hopefully... Now that we have, we almost at our cap of army levies, so maybe in the next episode I'm gonna be able to declare a war, war on someone. We'll see if you're gonna have a nice possibility. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer you as soon as you could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.